Hey everyone, welcome back to Fido Mechanic. Today we're going to talk about the use of different mobile devices for work and school. Whether you're a student, business professional, or just someone who needs to get things done, having the right device can make all the difference. So, let's take a look at some of the most popular options and see what each one has to offer. Before we begin, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Option 1. Smartphone. The smartphone is like your trusty sidekick, always there when you need it. With its small size and portability, it's easy to take your work and school with you wherever you go. However, the small screen and limited typing capabilities can make it tough to get things done efficiently. It's like trying to paint a masterpiece on a post-it note. But hey, at least you can text your friends during class without the teacher noticing. Option 2. Tablet. The tablet is like the middle child, it wants to be big like a laptop but still wants to be portable like a smartphone. Tablets are great for reading, watching videos, and browsing the web. However, typing on a virtual keyboard can be a bit of a challenge, and it may not be powerful enough for more demanding tasks. It's like trying to build a house with just a hammer and saw. But hey, at least you can play Candy Crush during a boring meeting. Option 3. Laptop. The laptop is the king of mobile devices when it comes to work and school. With its larger screen, powerful processor, and full keyboard, it's great for getting things done efficiently. However, it can be bulkier and heavier than other options, so you may need to plan ahead if you're going to be carrying it around a lot. It's like trying to take an elephant on a hike, but hey, you've got all the tools you need. And if you're really lucky, your laptop might even come with a built-in game of solitaire to help you procrastinate. So there you have it. Each of these mobile devices has its own pros and cons, and the best one for you will depend on your specific needs and preferences. Just remember to consider factors such as portability, screen size, typing capabilities, and processing power when making your choice. And most importantly, don't forget to charge your device before class or a meeting. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.